accuracy issue too. Yeah. But I'm, I'm of two minds on accuracy because I believe that everyone who's communicating is communicating from a story, a narrative they carry. So, uh, so when we start talking about people uh, are engaging in fake news, right? Well, to some degree, we're all. I, I would never say fake news. I would always say we engage in a narrative that we live, right? Right. But but right. at the at the same time, to say something's man-made is just inaccurate unless a man made it. Am I correct? So uh, that's correct. So back <laughs> in the back in the day, I think some of us would have rolled our eyes. Oh, why do we have to do that? But you know, if it's a change in in the interest of civility. Or it's right. a change yeah, in, the, in, that. in the interest of clarity and accuracy. I mean, the truth's hard to get at, so it's best to be as accurate as we can, right? I think so, and be respectful of people, too. I mean, uh, uh, take the time not to just live in your own world and you start calling things and people the way you want to, but consider the other person. Why not? I mean, doesn't that make for a little better life situation? Well, I uh, think it improves makes, our planet a little bit, maybe, in the I, way we interact with people. Yeah, to your point, I think that's right. I think it makes your life richer to to make life about where others are coming from. Otherwise, you're stuck in in the uh, in you in, in the your, echo chamber of your head. Now, <laughs> and, we're, and in my case, that's a bad place to that, be. That, yeah, you don't want to. I don't want to be there all the time. Don't spend too much time. But that brings me back to your point earlier of the brain in uh, <laughs> in the vat. The brain in the vat, right? Yeah, because uh, you can't unless you're connected. So. How do you get that information out? Well, you take time to, to you know, uh, consider the other person and what you want in a relationship. You know, if you want to talk about a topic that I really don't want to go there, I'm still going to give you your time on the platform, right? I mean, that's what I want to do because I feel like that you may get the chance to give me time uh, in the reverse situation. So that sort of interactivity is is important on so many levels. Incidentally, isn't that a great rule for marriage, right? Oh, yes. So here we are coming up with Valentine's Day. I know you and Peggy have been married uh, since you were kids. 43, really. I think we're coming up on, yeah. Yeah, and Janie and I will be 42, but there's a lot of that kind of thing. Thing where, where both partners in that relationship are probably thinking, "Boy, I'm giving a lot, you know, for what I'm getting, you know." Right, right, right. But and that's human nature, yeah, right? You measure but, that interaction uh, principle, and there's an interactional theory about marriage too, in uh, in that way that uh, if I give you something, then uh, you have to give me something equal uh, in that in that reference. And the transactional you, analysis. The transactional approach, yeah. is, is very transactional in a way, and it doesn't always work. But uh, right, it does, a general no. rule. Yeah, that that seems to make sense. So I find that interesting, and the idea that uh, you know w- one of the rules I think I've I've learned is, hey, I, why am I so upset about this particular thing? Maybe I it, tomorrow, two or three days later, I'm not so significantly wound up about that. So let's bring it down a few notches and not get so upset. So hey, you, we have our bumps. We kind of consider how big a battle is this? Am I going to fight this? Is this a, a war or is this just a small battle as we go on? So uh, let's consider that in a way, too. That's my advice for uh, Valentine's Day so far. Well, what you and uh, Lenore Gillum and Rick Long taught me yeah, Rick. Is, is this whole idea that uh, if, if I'm interacting with you, then it should be about you, right. not about me. Right. And I, I think we have a tendency uh, as human beings. My brother Royce has, has quotes a guy who says, "I'm not much, but I'm all I think about." <laughs> you know, I think <laughs> I think great. that's a that's human great. that's a human nature thing. You know, <laughs> it's a, and I, I probably great. said that in, in <laughs> podcast before, but no, no, I, think, I don't think I've heard that one. That was great. We're gonna pull that clip out for sure, right there. Yeah, but but anyway, uh, that if if that's how everything's approached then you're in for a dull lonely existence because really if you're not learning about others and you're not learning new things then uh, again there you are stuck 